what's the difference between programming and coding. The first part of programming consists of figuring out what your program is supposed to do, and then you figure out how to code it in some particular programming language. And coding should really be the easy part. The hard part is thinking. I learned to program at a summer job the year I graduated from high school. And then while I was completing my studies, I would work as a programmer. And without realizing it, I had somehow managed to slide between programming into computer science. And at the time, I didn't realize that was happening because I didn't even realize there was a science of computing. I've always been guided in the theory that I do by things that I felt could be useful for system building. In the 1970s, I wrote, well, quite a few papers, but one of them was called the Bakery Algorithm, and the other is known as the Time Clocks paper. They both had algorithms that bore some similarity to each other in the sense that they both involved using numbers to order things. There was never any rigorous connection between the two. Recently, I stumbled upon how I could go from one algorithm and derive the other algorithm. This started when I was writing something and I wanted an example of a distributed algorithm. And in that time clocks paper, as a simple example of what the paper was about, there was a distributed mutual exclusion algorithm. And I decided to use that as the example. It was a little too complicated, so I started simplifying it and simplifying it. And then I came up with a quite simple distributed mutual exclusion algorithm. And when I looked at it, that started looking an awful lot like the bakery algorithm. I realized that I could go from the bakery algorithm to this simple distributed mutual exclusion algorithm, and through that simple mutual exclusion algorithm to the general distributed algorithm that the distributed mutual exclusion ex example was a special case of. I deliberately wrote the paper the way it would have been written in the 1970s. I was reasoning about how to go from this algorithm to the other, as it would have been done in the 1970s. In the 50 years since then, I've learned a lot about how to think about these algorithms. And I would look at these proofs in a very different way. The mathematics behind that is really beautiful. It gives you a way to think about things that's very useful.